And in business, the Governor Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele, has assured investors of the security of their investments in the country, despite dwindling revenue from the sale of crude oil globally. Speaking at the weekend in Abuja, Emefele said investors interested in repatriating their funds from the country were guaranteed to get their money, notwithstanding the drop in the revenue from crude oil. We, we always like to support an orderly exit but not an exit where everybody rushes to the door at the same time. If, you, everybody, if there's fire in this room and everybody rushes to the door at the same time, I am sure the fatalities will be more than if we all go out through the door in an orderly manner. And that's what we are appealing from to everybody. If you have LC, if you have uh, or any, whether dollar obligation, I'm saying just be patient. There may be a delay in you taking your monies out. But will you take your money out? I'm seizing this opportunity to give 100% assurance to everybody that you will take your money out. You will not lose a cent of your money if you desire to take your money out. We are now joined by Johnson Chuku, CEO, Kauri Asset Management. Good day, Johnson. Hello. Good day. Thank you for having me. Certainly. I'm sure you definitely have seen um, the video from the Central Bank of Nigeria's governor. What do you make of the statement by the CBN governor? Well, you know the CBN governor is the back of La Resort. The Central Bank is the back of La Resort. And uh, with that uh, statement by the Central Bank governor, it will be a lot reassuring to foreign portfolio investors that have been trying to exceed them in the market. I mean, if the Central Bank governor, there's no other higher authority in terms of monetary policy management that can give you an assurance that is higher than the Central Bank governor. And with that assurance, it's like a, 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 um, it's like he has written the signature of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as another uh, to undertake that all payments or withdrawals coming from foreign portfolio investors will be met. So I, I believe that foreign portfolio investors will be less assured, and the panic that for people wanting to drop out uh, will be moderated. Now, the CBN governor also mentioned the need for the country's preparedness for the AFCFTA. Let's um, take a listen. I watch on television that the AFCFTA starts again January 2021. And so, what do we do as a country? And that's why we think we should galvanize the manufacturing sector, the health sector, to prepare and then get our factories back, create jobs. Let us begin to see the fumes coming out of the room. I... Now, how fast do you think we can meet up with the needs to be at the forefront of the agreement when it kicks up by January 2021? I think there are a couple of things we need to do. We have to not even start the heavy lifting. What the monetary authorities can do and not the heavy lifting that you require to position the economy as a competitive economy for Africa continental free trade and implementation. The major thing we have that is us being an efficient producer or to be a cause of low productivity is because of our severe infrastructure deficit. Until we begin to address that, Nigeria we, got, we struggle to become competitive and compete with African countries when Africa continental free trade agreement comes into stream in January 2021. Take for example issue of power supply, low transport infrastructure, uh, sea tra um, uh, seaports, airports, rail lines. These are critical resources you need in any country to make your production to be cost efficient. Uh, if it takes you so long to get goods straight from your seaport, you have to bear the uh, cost of finance, the cost of privilege, and that adds up to your cost of production. If you do not, if you have to generate your power uh, to fire your, your factories, you will not be as productive uh, in terms of uh, efficiency as other countries that are getting their power supply from the main uh, uh, line or main supply lines. So these are things we need to address. Monetary policy we don't, we don't address them. It's good that the monetary authorities are trying to incentivize the manufacturing sector by giving them a um, sub-market interest rate on some of the intervention funds. But they need the government, which has the, um, the fiscal authority, to do the heavy lifting. The heavy lifting will come in the form of building the supporting infrastructure that will make this economy an efficient producer of goods and services. Until that is done, Nigeria will lag behind in terms of competition when Africa Coordinator Africa Agreement becomes, uh, comes into force. Now, Godwin Emefele also mentioned concerns regarding the low numbers requesting for funds made available by the CBN. 
continues. How are we going to protect ourselves from this kind of situation, even both now and in the future? And so that's why we said that there is a need for us to put in place a facility, the health package, about 50 billion. We came back again, we said even for the manufacturing sector, no, health, health facility about 100 billion, and also for the manufacturing sector about 1 trillion naira, which companies and entrepreneurs should take advantage of to see how we can grow our industries, create jobs on our people, and reduce the adverse consequences of the health and economic crisis on our people and on our country. That's why we started. And we found out after eight weeks that those applications are not coming as fast as we thought. Continue. Johnson Chukwu, thank you very much for joining us on the news. My pleasure. Certainly.